Hmm. Where am I today? <laughs> no real story today, just chilling out. But where am I? Ah. Oh. And do a slow walk, Epstein. A slow Epstein walk. To recap. To rethink. It's actually quite beautiful down here. Nice spurlings. I forget what that building's called. It's some famous famous architecture. Very expensive. We're down here in the in the bowels of the Jeffrey Epstein. The 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 <laughs> scene of the crime so today in the news uh, I haven't been talking about Epstein because I feel like it's just gossip at this point we don't there's no real groundbreaking stuff right there's let's see there's there's evidence of today 20 correction officers in MCU right here will be subpoenaed have been subpoenaed by a grand jury which is very interesting. 20, 20, 20 correction officers are now subpoenaed to tell the grand jury what they know. Now, do police lie? Do police lie in stereo? They could be 100 cops. They'll all say the same thing, right? That's what they do. They lie. Right? Is it just a, it's just a formality? I don't know. But nonetheless, what else? Uh, Prince Andrew was seen sticking his head out the door of Jeffrey Epstein's home, was definitely on the Lolita Express. Yeah. So, where's the, uh, where's the witness? Where's the girl that said, uh, where's the girl? Right? It's all speculation until you got the witness. Right? So, doing, just doing a slow walk over here. It's a scary. Uh, oh, the warden was fired. Right? The warden will check out his parking space <laughs> where the warden parks. Uh, the warden of MCC, Metropolitan Correctional Center, is right here. That's where I am. I'm right in between. This is, this is Manhattan Correctional Facility, Correctional Center. Where Epstein spent his last days. Cesar Sayak is in there, too. So is Il Chapo. The Chapo was in there, but he's not in there anymore. They moved Il Chapo to uh, maximum sec supermax. I think in Colorado somewhere. He's on the ground. So, oh, this is the warden's. Yeah. The warden's car. Pal, the warden. <sighs> Fucking garbage truck. So I'll start looking more familiar as I get towards the court. So MCU, there it is, right? 700 inmates. That was Jeffrey Epstein's alleged last stop. What else? Uh, he, there's an allegation that he wasn't the undersigner. He didn't sign his own will. It is suspicious, right? Two days before he dies, allegedly he signs his will. And then he dies? That's very, that's very suspicious. Ah, that would fire up the conspiracy that he arranged for that money to be released in, in uh, uh, the Virgin Islands. Right? All his heirs are in the Virgin Islands. His will is in the Virgin Islands. And for his creditors to get it, they got to go there. Unless he gets there first, because he snuck out the back door. He came out the back door and he ran down the block. <laughs> we'll never know that for sure, but it is interesting that the... Um, what else? So... So he may not have signed his own will. May have forged it. I don't know. I looked at the... I looked at the... Um, his 2008 signature as opposed to his 2000 later, 2015, 16 signature. Sometimes his signature changes. Look on your old passports or look on your old license or old documents that you've signed. And you'll notice that uh, your, your signature tends to change. So I don't know if that's conclusive that, uh, that he didn't exactly sign his own will. But it is an eerie feeling down here. We're a man. 
who's alleged, who's supposed to be proven innocent, is supposed to be innocent until proven guilty, dies of his own hand, allegedly, dies of hanging. Or was it the roommate that choked him out? The gorilla, Nick Tagtaglione, the ex-cop with four bodies under his belt. I don't know, but it is, it is a, this is a soft walk, right? So we walk softly through and try to figure it out. Not much has transpired. The big, the big events, Jeffrey Epstein is caught. Ah, we got him. Jeffrey Epstein dies. Oh, we got him. In this court, it was decided. Who decided if Jeffrey Epstein would live or die? Did Jeffrey Epstein decide if he would live or die? Hmm. I don't know. Legal system's fucked up. Spooky. It's another building. Oh, that's really it over here. I'm gonna walk down towards, uh, walk down towards Chinatown. You show you where we really are. Right? So that's the, um, those are criminal courts. Those are criminal state court. And again, Jeffrey Epstein's court is here. This is the Daniel Patrick Moynihan State Courthouse, right? So that's the front. You remember the, uh, you remember when all the fake news was here? The other thing about New York is you see how people forget. Right? It's not a story anymore. The story's done. Right? It, it moves on, right? Is William Barr going to do one iota of anything to, 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 to get to the bottom of it? He seems to think Epstein is dead. Right? At least by, uh, uh, by you know, pushing the 20... Um, the, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I focus on not getting hit by a car. He seems to have pushed the, the, the notion of 20 cops being um, uh, summoned. Subpoenas, they have to, they have to answer. They're not, they're not indicted. They're subpoena, subpoenaed, just like Chelsea Manning is subpoenaed to, to testify against uh, Julian Assange. If you receive a subpoena from a, a, um, a grand jury, you have to appear. So that should be interesting. That's the only breaking news, really. And I know I'm probably missing a lot of stuff because I haven't been focusing on it intently because I don't think it really matters. I, I know Prince Andrew flew on the plane with the with the with the alleged sex, you know, the sex slave. Okay. Where's Bill Clinton? <laughs> Where's Bill? Was 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 Prince Andrew saying Bill was sitting next to him? Yeah. So I did a little hustle over here. This is beautiful, beautiful Harley Davidsons. Remember when Harley Davidsons used to be made in America? They're beautiful bikes. Police are living large on these things, man. It's a good job to have, right? Beautiful. I don't want to get too close. Get locked up. <laughs> yeah, these are Harleys. Are they Harleys? I think they are. I think they're Harley Davidsons. Can't tell. Ah, yes, Harley Davidson. See it? Police Harley. Beautiful. Better than a horse. <laughs> Better than a horse. So everything changes. One block, everything changes in New York, right? You can walk one block and everything changes. Ah, Chinatown. Start to hear Cantonese soon. Ah, oh, yeah. I don't know if you could hear him. I could hear him. Uh, you gotta stop making fun of people. I'll get, get my ass kicked. <laughs> you can only do that online when nobody can punch you. <laughs> So this is a, I'll just uh, give you what, what you're going to see here. This is, uh, you're going to see some uh, Marjan tables, card tables, right? This is the pit of Chinatown, right? It's gambling. Everybody's gambling.
I don't like you filming them, but <laughs> don't play card. Don't play cards out in the, in the public if you don't like to be. <laughs> if you don't like to be filmed, I'll get a little Chinese music. There's always a card game going on somewhere. You never see money changing hands, but you know it is changing hands. Just not out in the public. Huh. The fucking casino down there. Ah. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> A entertainment for you. What was card? What card game? Oh, here we see some poker chips on the table. That's illegal. Every once in a while I see a fight break out. <laughs> a lot of yelling and screaming in Chinese. <laughs> but the other parties. <laughs> Film what cards they have. Oh, para aces. Ah, oh, todos. This looks like a suit. Ah, here's some mahjong going on. Some serious looking motherfuckers, right? So you don't have to be in the game to gamble. You could be betting on somebody else. Games are in Chinese, so you have no chance of playing. <laughs> no, 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 no. No gamble, no gamble. <laughs> no gamble. They only speak perfect English when you, when uh, <laughs> all of a sudden you think nobody speaks English. Uh, fucking, their money starts changing hands. They know exactly how, they know how to count, man. Uh, so. So that's, I mean, you see how, like, like Jeffrey Epstein probably could smell the Chinese food from where he was, where he was staying, his last, his last accommodations, where he had his last meal, his last teenage girl in the room, you heard? That's crazy, right? They put a, they put a young girl in there as a lawyer, posing as a lawyer, locked the door. Oh, the other lawyers haven't shown up today. That's my lawyer for today, 12 hours. It's not fair, man. It is definitely not fair. These are psychics. Psychic. They tell your fortune. I tell your fortune. No, 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 Mark. That's how they Old Chinese. Nobody. Cops and Chinese. Police on Chinese. <laughs> I guess it's safe to tell a joke. What do you call a fat chink? Huh? 
What do you call a fat chink? A chunk. <laughs> that's, my, that's my bad Chinese joke for the day. Oh. Uh, dumpling joints. Oh, you like dumpling. I like dumpling too. I like dumpling. I like dumpling. When I used to uh, eat ice cream, one of my favorite ice cream parlors is right over here too. You can walk a block that way and you're in Little Italy, but right now it's China. Chinatown. It's Chinatown. That's uh, Mott Street. What's better, sitting in a jail, rotting? With half a billion, with a half a, a half a billion dollars in the bank? You end up like that guy over there. Or, walking them around free. Walking around free with your joystick. Your joystick out. This is a, a, this is a, if you're ever in New York and you like ice cream, this is the spot right here. Now, I don't eat ice cream. I don't condone eating ice cream. But this is some serious fucking ice cream out here. Chinatown Ice Cream Factory. And, uh, just for the record, I don't know where we are. 60, 68, uh, where was the street? I forgot which street we're on. Oh, you're on Bayard, Bayard Street. Six, put in 60, maybe 65 Bayard. B-A-Y-A-R-D, Bayard Street. In Chinatown, New York, let's see where I am. A lot of these Chinese restaurants are hit or miss. It's not advisable to just walk into anyone and eat. You will not be happy. Oh, you will not be happy. No happy happy. <laughs> Thanks for taking this walk with me. Thanks for walking with me. Chinese guys love to smoke. They didn't get the memo that cigarettes kill you. <laughs> There's a couple of good eateries down here, but I, don't, I really don't. I mean, I don't come down here to eat. I just come down here to to walk, you know. There's the Manhattan Bridge over there. Oh, you know that song by, uh, what's the song by, uh, by the, uh, uh, it's a bluegrass band. I, I can't remember their name right now because the sun is pounding on my head right now. But, um, they sing about Canal Street on Canal and Bowery. This is Canal and Bowery right here. You buy buy fruit on the street. That's pretty good. Ah, no pick. You could have, but no pick. <laughs> they pick for you. They give you the rotten ones. They give you the rotten cherries first. Ah, oh, spa. When you see day spa, that's that's uh. That's tug and pull in the back. <laughs> oh, happy ending. <laughs> it's a happy ending joint. This guy's taking a break. This guy's tired, man. He's taking a break. He's having a cigarette. Ah, you know, another 20 minutes of your life, you can't get back. 
So that's the Manhattan Bridge over there. That's the, the opening of the Manhattan Bridge. Everybody thinks of the, um, the Brooklyn Bridge as really the one to see, but in my humble opinion, if you ever if you ever want to walk a bridge in New York, walk the Manhattan Bridge. You walk over there. There's, there's cars, there's, there's uh, trains going across, but there's very few people. There's a lot of bicycles. There's just locals. People don't... You can see the bike path up the side over there. You can literally walk over the bridge and you'd be... You'd be back in Brooklyn. Interesting. HSBC is a Hong Kong bank. Right? I mean, they're all over New York, but it's a Hong Kong bank. Hong Kong's not doing so well right now, right? In their, in their bank run. That's the, uh, that's Big Buddha. There's a Buddhist temple over there behind the garbage truck. <laughs> the the uh, Mahayana Buddhist temple. There's a huge Buddha in there. It's pretty cool. So there's Canal Street. A uh, very busy block. Busy, congested. So, Marcus County reporting on the latest Epstein stuff. Slow walk. Is he dead? Does a half a million dollar, half a billion dollars buy you buy your freedom, even even in a even in the worst situation? Who we ever know? We live in a time now we can't trust intelligence anymore. We only know what they want to tell us. And that is a sad situation, right? In so many aspects of our life. You're not privy. <laughs> You're not privy. Keep them divided. Keep people divided. Keep people fighting amongst each other. Keep the peasants ripping each other off. Off. LARP wars. <laughs> we'll pay attention to the man behind the curtain. Big brother. Big bank watching you. Ready to swoop in and take your money. <laughs> 